Today we're going to install the AVS in-channel vent visors on this 2019 new body style GMC Sierra 1500. This is the same install for the Chevy Silverado. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start on the driver's side front. I've got my visor. The inside of the visor is gonna say LF for left front. Um, now, first I want to dry fit this visor in place. This is gonna to go to the inside of the window track. Uh, so this is exactly where the window slides up and down inside uh, the track. Now, some in-channel vent visors go in between the rubber and the door frame. We're not doing that on this particular install. This goes actually inside the track. So I've got this raised all the way up. Um, I'm gonna take note of how far up it goes on that rubber because I also have to aggressively abrade the felt on the inside of that. I've got a supplied 3M pad that I can do that with. So now that I've got that in place, I'm gonna remove that and uh, put my 3M pad up in there. All right, now I wanna point out again, this part of the installation is key. This is an abrasive pad that you're given. It goes up inside that window track and we're going to abrade the felt on the inside of that rubber. Uh, if that felt is not abraded properly, it's not gonna seat properly when we're all done. Next, what we're gonna do is go into our uh, kit and grab an alcohol prep pad, tear that open, and wipe the inside of that channel nice and clean. All right, next what we're gonna do is remove the adhesive protector from the front and back edges and also pull down about two inches on each side of adhesive protector in the front and the back on the long strip. Next, we're going to dry fit it uh, into the channel. Make sure it's pulled all the way back against the inside of the channel while we're lifting up. That way it doesn't try to grab a hold um, of the inside of that channel. Once it's up in place, we can go ahead and push uh, to start getting it attached to the inside of the track. And now we can peel out this here as we're pulling up and keeping pressure on it. All right, now we need to go ahead and start very slowly raising the window up. Um, as it gets up to the vent visor, we wanna make sure that we're pulling out on the vent visor a little bit to where we, we miss it. Um, as a tech tip, what I like to do is take and insert a little piece of cardboard between the vent visor and the window. Uh, that helps the window go behind the vent visor. All right, now I'll go ahead and put the window all the way up. All right, now with the window closed, I've still got the pieces of cardboard up in there, which that's perfect, because what that does is it pushes out on the vent visor a little bit, helps to form a memory with that rubber. Um, now we're gonna leave this up for 72 hours so that adhesive can completely cure. After 72 hours, I pull the window down, I can pull my cardboard pieces out. Now the rear install is gonna start off just like the front. We're gonna first dry fit it in place. Once it's up in place, note, how far down we need to aggressively use that 3M pad. Again, we're gonna use an alcohol prep pad and wipe down the inside of that surface. And again, we're gonna remove our tape protectant from the ends and pull back a couple of inches from each side on the long strip. Make sure it's pulled back against the inside of the track as we raise it up. Once it's in place, we can go ahead and push forward and go ahead and peel back 
the 3M from the top portion. And start seating that in place as well. All right, now in the kit, you'll also be given one of these clips on each side. This is only for the rear portion of the back visor. Now, what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna fit that in between the channel. Uh, this actually widens that channel out to make sure that nothing uh, binds up as that window is going up. So it's partially gonna be behind the visor, partially just in the channel. I'm gonna go ahead and fit that in place and then push it all the way in with a flathead screwdriver. Once that's all the way in there, I can go ahead and put up my window. All right, now again, I'm gonna go ahead and very slowly bring the window up. I'm gonna get it up to where it's almost to the visor. I'm gonna go ahead and insert my pieces of cardboard just like I did on the front. And I just used pieces of cardboard that were uh, with the box that this came out of. All right, now as I pull out on the visor, go ahead and finish putting it up all the way. And again, leave this one closed for 72 hours. When you put down the window after 72 hours, you can pull out your cardboard then. Well, that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.